Okay, guys, here we go. Here it is, guys. We are in, uh, this is this is Ukraine month, right? Some kind of uh, Ukraine history month. Is that what we're doing? Is that why we all care about Ukraine for a limited time? Or I think we care because it's white people that are struggling and they're not like uh, another race. So we're very empathetic because like, um, bro, the Ukraine struggling? I mean, it's a bunch of white people struggling, bro. That's scary. What it happens to like the black and brown countries? Who cares? Because like they're not people. But in America or in in a white a European country, that's crazy, dude. That's crazy. It's because they're civilized. Exactly. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, I can't believe people think like that. Anyway, yeah. I mean, what's going on in Ukraine is messed up. Like, obviously, you know, I support Ukraine and Ukrainian women. If you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just I support the OnlyFans. I got I've been I've been supporting a lot of Ukrainian OnlyFans. Just got to support those businesses. Anyway, this is called Ukrainian woman shamed for not being married. Honestly, at the end of the day, I mean, if you're not married, you, uh, I can't think of a rhyme, but you're ugly. So yeah, let's do this. I uh, this video didn't seem to do particularly well, probably because uh, nobody really cares about the whole married thing. That's a that's a weird one to me, because most of Samir's videos are like, oh my god, racism, <laughs> and something like that, and those get like a good amount of views. But the married one is weird to me, because like, who cares about that? Like this one did well. Mom tries to get son to cheat on his wife. Ew, that kind of stuff. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Woman shamed for not being married after 30. Oh, well, she deserves it. You're 30 years old, not married. L loser. Got him. Or in a stable relationship. Sharon? Oh, my God. Sharon, hi. What does her being Ukrainian have to do with anything, by the way? Oh, it's aid for Ukraine. It was just the... Well, they raised $50,000 for Ukraine, so good for them. Hey. Oh, happy birthday. How are you? I'm great. I don't like. I don't really like her dress. My gift. It said it arrived this morning. I did. Thank you so much for remembering my birthday. I was actually just gonna send you a message. Of course. How could I forget my favorite cousin's birthday? Yeah. Did you like the gift? Was it useful? Was uh, it a fucking dildo? Why do you keep going on about the gift? I always think about the most thoughtful gift. It was like a clit sucker. Like what is this? Um. Yeah. Cat food. It's it's a great gift. <laughs> cat food. What? I just don't have cats. I want to get a dog someday. I'm more of a dog person, really, but I have a neighbor with cats. Wait, what? You don't have cats? But you're single and you're- Okay, there's way too much like clinging going on in the background here. What? 38? A year? No, a couple years older than me? Yeah, but you know, I just don't have time with work. Oh, come on. I assumed you had all the time in the world. What can you possibly be- Bro, what is happening? Why is there so much banging? Busy with if you don't have a family. My parents are still around. Yeah, but I mean, you're- Do you, Wait, I, I, hold on. Do you think that they added the banging in there to make it seem more authentic? Or are they actually at a restaurant? Family. I'm always busy with mine. That's good. How are the kids? How is Arnold? Is he back from Africa? I'm oh, so he in happy Africa? for you guys. Uh, the kids are great, you know, with their dance and karate lessons. And Arnold... What did, what did Africa have to do with anything? What's happening here? Uh, he doesn't want to move back. He kind of met someone there. Oh, shit. But it's okay. We're still working on our marriage. We'll figure working it out. On, so he's working on her. <laughs> That's great. You guys have been married for 10 years. I, I mean, I feel like this isn't very organic. She would have just lied and be like, yeah, everything's great and fine, blah, 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 blah. But she's like, yeah, you know, he's cheating on me, but we'll make it work. It's like, oh, okay, interesting. That's a weird self-report. I'm sure you'll figure it out. You've always been so beautiful I'm, together. Better than being alone on your birthday. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah. Wait, okay. We had a restaurant. <laughs> Am I right? I, uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's because I'm here with a group of my married friends and oh, okay. single women. They kind of make us feel a little uncomfortable. It's okay, you didn't. You really should be trying to find a man. But I guess it's too late for you. Your eggs are ready for the museum. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Surely we're worth more than eggs. And I think science has fixed that. 30s is the new 20s. 
you know, I really don't want to ruin your birthday. It's unfortunate. The older you get, though, the much higher chance that your kid's going to come out with some kind of like a, I don't know, we'll say disability, for lack of a better term. It's unfortunate science, bro. I think that the, the the chance of like having Down syndrome drastically increases like once you hit your 30s. It's actually unfortunate. You should try to have kids a little younger, you know. Um, I'm just telling you, man. It's just that's the science can't stop that. Okay, just letting you know. But if you're single in your 30s, there's something wrong with you. True. Yeah. I mean, yeah. not you, but just people. I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think yeah. that's true. No, no. I mean, in a good way. It's still like really unique. You could do other things. You know, like huh? pottery. Um, oh. this is a fucking acid trip. Okay, I'll look into that. What else? My mother had me at 39. I came out great. Well, you know, I, you may, may, you might have beaten the odds, or you might just not be self-aware because you, you know, you came out a little, you know. Just kidding, brother. <laughs> What's going on with you? Um, my company is about to go. Public. Okay, they're in a kitchen. They're just in somebody's house. Made it look like a restaurant. So all this obnoxious clinging that they've added, quite literally, is just a. It's just a sound in the back, and it's so fucking annoying. You didn't have to add this into it. It's fucking insufferable. Also, what's going on here? She they they gave her. So this is supposed to be a restaurant. There's an empty plate here, and then she has a plate of cake. Which means, why did they set her up an additional plate? This doesn't make any sense. Look, we're working with the underwriters to come up with a final IPO price. I'm really excited. Ugh, that's all boring stuff. I mean, what's up with you? Your personal front. Yeah, what's up with I you? I mean, you're older now, you know. but you know, you could still be hooking up with older men. I mean, am I right? Uh, yeah, yeah, hey, what's, hey, 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 what's, what's going on with you? Hey, what's up with you? Oh, well, you know, I'm just going to fucking kill myself after listening to this. That, that, what the fuck's happening? It's really getting on my goddamn nerves, dude. It's just getting on my fucking nerves. Um, I'm seeing somebody. Oh, really? You are? Oh, yeah? Who? Yeah. He's, he's actually he here. Actually. Ah, look at that's why there's another plate. What is... Wait, what is this? What is that? Hold on a second. What? What? What is that? I'm just trying to... I don't understand. Is that a, it's a leaf. What is, are these French fries? What are these? And why, why do you still have these? Well, why do you have this on the table? Why would you have a face cloth? What, I don't understand. This is just a big leaf with, a, with, a, these are probably, by the way, this is probably plastic utensils. What is a glove? Is it French fries? <laughs> Is this a leaf and french fries? <laughs> what kind of a fucking meal is that? Okay. Um, great. Fantastic. Okay. Here? Where? Maybe he's, maybe he's a little person. Okay. Don't be some kind of phobic. I don't see him. Yeah, he said he was going to the bathroom. He's just been gone a while. Oh, oh okay. I thought you were here alone. No. Maybe he's taking a fat shit. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. I'd be taking a huge dump if I had to go that bad. I try not to go take poops in, in public. But when you got to go, you got to go. But I try not to at restaurants. These are disgusting. The only restaurant I've taken a shit in comfortably was a restaurant called Texas Day Brazil. I had to take a mean diarrhea dump in there. It's when I It was when I was started to take my metformin more religiously. And, you know, at, at first it makes you poop. And uh, I was like, I can't. I'm, and and we went there with her, with my wife, and um, we were eating. And they give you a lot of meats and like a lot of food. And I was like, oh, I'm getting full. And like, there's a lot of like you know pork and stuff. And I went in there and I blew, I blew the fuck out of that toilet. So, or am I thinking of the fondue place? I think I did it at a fondue place. That was really nice. There was a really if you go to an expensive restaurant, usually the bathrooms are nice. Go to like an Applebee's. I went to the fucking some Chinese buffet the other day. Asian buffet? I don't know. Floors were like wet. You don't know if it's pee or just the toilet backed up. Gross shit, bro. Oh, I tried to tell you. Oh my god. Don't tell me you stood you up. I hope not. I'll text him and check. Sharon, okay. sweetie. Is there even a guy? Are you making this up because you're embarrassed? Of course there is a guy. That's his laugh. Well, he drank it all. I've heard of people doing that, so they don't feel like they're dining alone. Well, he'll be I here soon. Okay. okay, well. Although I I do that sometimes. This is this is actually a really good plan. Sometimes I go to McDonald's. And I'm like, okay, 
I'm going to order like a lot of food. You know, maybe I'll get myself a 20 piece. I'll get myself like two or three of the, they have the $3 bundles with, um, double cheeseburgers. I'll get maybe three of those, some fries. They get three small fries, right? And then the 20 piece. And then, you know, maybe even a McFlurry. It depends on how I'm feeling. That's a lot of food for one person. So what I do sometimes, I, I order two drinks. So they're like, okay, that's for two people. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Boom. Now I don't look so fat by comparison. Oh, you're sharing an ice cream with another person? That's very responsible. Very responsible. You know what I mean? It's very responsible. Well, what's his name? I've never seen him on your Instagram. Yeah, we don't want to make it too public. Lots of people know. How does Samir have a gold play button? He doesn't even have a million followers. Is there another channel I don't know about? <laughs> don't you get that? Don't you get that at a million followers? I'm confused. Oh, wait. He, he has another channel. It's called the Catch a Cheater. What? How did I not know about this? And he made a new channel. That's crazy. Okay, that's not Samir. I'm so confused. Maybe that's his son. I've never seen him on your Instagram. Yeah, we don't want to make it too public. Lots of people know us. Maybe he's keeping you as a side chick. Okay. Arnold has side chicks, but I'm his real love, for sure. Well, we did move in together six months back, so I think I would know. Oh. They moved in together? Oh, you did? You never mentioned. Well, we both work from home. We barely spend any time apart. I'm the one who has to push him to go out. He is just a buddy. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's his name? Can I Google him? At least, right? Or does he not exist on Google either? Um, well, most people, I feel like, don't exist on Google. Thank you so much for the bits. Who exists on Google? <laughs> like, I mean, I do, but... <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess if you Google somebody's regular name, they'll come up on Facebook. Well, you're my cousin. I guess it's okay to tell you. Exactly. You don't have to be embarrassed. <gasps> it's going to be Arnold. Whatever he is. You know I don't judge. Okay, um, his name is Nicholas Edward. Great. Time to see if he's real. Oh, there's so many. Do you have anything more specific? Nicholas Albert Edward. Okay. Let me oh my God. Is it going to be Albert? Is it going to be her husband? Nicholas Albert Edward? A, a duke? Like a prince? His name is N-A-E. Nicholas Albert Edward. Nay, nay. Very cool. We met through mutual friends. Wow. This is so much worse than I thought. What do you mean? You become very delusional, Sharon. Do you need a therapist? I could recommend a very good therapist. Can we get to the point to on this video? They're 32. You're nearly 40. You know what they say. Age is just a number. Pedophiles say that. <laughs> Fucking pedophiles say that. Okay. Oh, honey. But you're imagining you're dating a prince. Um, it feels pretty real. Oh, my God. I saw this video on a Samir Bhavanati channel. Oh, Bhavanati. Okay. Samir Bhavanati. I've been calling it Bavini. Bhavanati. Okay. Very cool. I mean, in my defense, I, I call Trisha Paytas Trisha Paytas for like six months. I actually would call her Trisha Paytas so much that I had to change. Like I had to actually like actively think about it in it because I just thought that's what it was. I was like Trisha Paytas. And like, of course, my wife never corrected me because she's a fucking asshole. And she's like, you know, Trisha Paytas eventually one day. I'm like, oh, I think I even said called her Trisha Paytas in the beginning of when I would talk about her. <laughs> okay, Trisha, oh, Tr Trisha Bavanati, Samir Bavanati. Okay. Where this girl totally made up a fake boyfriend to make her husband jealous. Oh shit. I didn't make Oh fuck, it's Albert! Oh shit! Uh, I just got lucky. It's me, that's the lucky one. Ooh. Oh my. You're real! I just saw your pictures online. <laughs> that's great. I'm not great with introductions, but it's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Karen, Sharon's first and favorite cousin. <laughs> oh. She's mentioned you. Well, she never uh, mentioned you to uh... me though. It's good that you finally have a man in your life. Okay. Better late than never. Those solo trips were not looking good on you at all, Sharon. Mm -mm, no. I think she's doing just fine without me, but I'm happy to be here too. Nick, are you feeling okay? That was the longest bathroom break. Say, so he had to take a fat shit. Say it. Yeah, I just had to take care of a little bit of business. <laughs> That's what I say sometimes. I gotta go take care of business. I'm gonna have to. Go, I'm gonna have to put this place out of business by flooding it. So I'm gonna shit up the toilet, bro. He was probably uh, talking to other girls. Oh. Maybe. Well, I wanted you to be finished with your meal before I give you your gift, in case you what hate it so much that you want to leave. Oh, I'm gonna marry you. Oh, no, you didn't have to do that. You did too much already. It's nothing at all, my love. 
Sorry, I had it. Oh, dude, it's one of those box of fucking Christmas cookies. You know what I'm talking about? Usually you open that box and it's just like fucking sewing supplies in there. But not this time. Not this time, Grandma, you asshole. Not this time, Grandma. This time there's going to be fucking cookies in it. Okay? You piece of shit. I delivered here last night and I just had the staff bring it out. Nice. Why didn't this. If you had the staff bring it out, why didn't you just have them bring it out to the table? Why, why did you why did you give it hold on it's nothing at all my love sorry i had it delivered here last night why and i just had the staff bring it out why why would you have it delivered there last night what there's literally nothing that could be in that box that would require this at all at whatsoever this doesn't make any sense why unless you were going to have the staff bring it to the table but then also go back in the car get it out of the car in fact, that would have really added to the story because she could have been like, oh, I just Googled him and I saw him walk outside going to his car before. Oh, I think that you're lying. He was he stood you up. You know what I mean? Could have been interesting. It's like, oh, no, I just went out to my car so I can get you this gift full of cookies or maybe sewing supplies, you know? But okay. Okay. Are there napkins? What is this? Oh, I know what this is. So, it's annoying is what it is. Well, there's a box inside a smaller box, inside a smaller box, and at the end, there's nothing there. Okay. Arnold did that to me once. It, it, it was funny. Uh, although, I'd be flattered even getting empty boxes from a print. Probably so irritated. I would be like, bro, are you fucking kidding me? I gotta put this back together afterwards. This is ridiculous. Is it a wedding gift? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm Marvel. Bro, did they just play the fucking Are you shitting me, dude? Did you bro? Okay. Don't oh, just watch this. The, that's the fucking they've basically played that song. That's what they fucking just played. You can hear it now, can't you? What the hell? <laughs> what? I marvel at your intelligence, your kindness, and your hard work every day. I've never felt like a prince, but you're the princess I've always looked for. Okay. You're the kind of <laughs> caring woman I would want to start a family with and grow old with. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh my god! My timing was off, but you get the point. Yes! Yes! Okay. Wow, well, Baron, you're finally something. Someone, a missus. Um, Dang. she's a CEO and a kind person before all of that. Uh, no, but I mean, nothing compares to being engaged. It's uh, well, I mean, by your logic, nothing compares to being married, but okay. It me to think you value a woman based on her relationship status. No. Ready to go home, fiance? I am. Fiance. I, my wife and I would call each other that, like, hey, fiance, you know? Oh, Sharon, by the way. By the way, Sharon, you didn't pay your fucking bill, asshole. I'm totally down to be your maid of honor. And you can finally join me and my married friends. Uh, I think I speak for both of us when I say, no thanks. I think that was a little bit of an overstep, you know what I mean? Like, my wife finds her, uh, some of people in her, her friends or family to be, uh, you know, insufferable cunts. But, you know, that doesn't mean that we would ever deny them the opportunity for something like this. You know what I mean? <clears throat> this is one of those things where it's like, yeah, yeah, it's my cousin, that fucking bitch. You know, that's one of the <laughs> You're not a real family unless you feel forced to interact with them. You know that's true. Am I right, Lo? You're right. I couldn't have said it better myself, my fiance. Let's go home and celebrate. Wow. Fantastic. 
excuse me, who's going to pay for this? Here's the waiter. He's trying to get you to pay for it. Well, just like every other Samir uh, Bhavani, Bhavanani, how do you say it? Okay. Just like a typical Samir video, the last two minutes are an advertisement, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, great video, Samir. Uh, sa uh, we just dropped a Samir Bhavanani. Bhavanani. Bhavanati. I feel like you're not saying your own name right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.